Hi, Jerry Brinkman from BereanNation.com. I was reading my devotions today in Luke chapter 12. You know, I, I don't know if you're aware, uh, I've shared it briefly, but I'm not a rich man. My family lives below the poverty line. Yeah, this is my house. My wife and I own it together. We have three kids. Two of them have uh, special needs. Mental illness kind of comes into the picture a little bit. Uh, my son has uh, something called Asperger's, which is high-functioning autism. And uh, he, he's 15 going on 16 now. And, you know, he's starting, well, he's taller than I am, and he's starting to gain some rebellious characteristics and as a result he's also been diagnosed with a real thing called uh, uh, oppositional defiance disorder. My older daughter who is now 17 going on 18 because of her mental illness is basically in grade 9 and she's working on it you know we have her enrolled in a special school where she can work at her own pace which is different than everybody else around it. She has severe social anxiety as a part of her thing. And anyway, all of this stuff drains our resources like you wouldn't believe. And I'm not saying that I want your donations. In fact, quite the opposite. Please don't send me money because you heard I had a, a hard time and I needed cash. That's really not the point here. What I was reading here this morning in Luke chapter 12 kind of opened my eyes a little bit, and I'll share it with you for what it's worth. Luke chapter 12, starting in verse 29, it says, Do not seek what you will eat and what you will drink, and do not keep worrying. For all these things the nations of the world eagerly seek, but your Father knows that you need these things. But seek his kingdom, and these things will be added to you. Do not be afraid, little flock, for your father has chosen gladly to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions, give to charity, make yourselves money belts which do not wear out, an unfailing treasure in heaven where no thief comes near nor moth destroys. For where your treasure is, your heart will be also. And it's, you know, if you're in my position, and you know, a lot more people are than like to admit it, it's really easy to worry about what it is that we need to live. Well, the Father, and I'm going to say our Father, because Jesus says your Father, and since he's talking specifically to his disciples from a little earlier on, our Father, it says He knows that we have need of these things. He knows. And there should be some relief just in that phrase. Our Father knows. He understands. He's willing to help. And He will. So what do we do? Well, His command to us here, it says, Seek His kingdom. And all these things will be added to us. What are the things he's talking about? Well, you know, it, start, it starts out in verse 22. Don't worry about your life, what you will eat, what you will put on. Life's more than food, body's more than clothing. The stuff we wear, the stuff we have to eat, the groceries in the refrigerator, to put it in practical terms. Don't worry about that. You seek my kingdom, and all these things will be added to you. Now, what does that mean, to seek his kingdom? Well, I think, you know, uh, very frankly, it means spend time with him every day in the word. The kingdom of God has come near you, Jesus said in another place. His kingdom is perfectly represented to us in his unfallible, perfect word, the Bible. How do we spend time with Jesus every day? Well, we read a little of his words. Interestingly, this is him speaking 
in the gospel according to Luke, part of the Christian Bible. We seek his kingdom. What else does it mean to seek his kingdom? Well, it means to share all of these things with people because Jesus also said, go and make disciples of all the nations, teaching them what I taught you. So share, specifically share the gospel that Jesus died on the cross to bear our sins so that we could be reconciled to God. And to gain entrance into his kingdom requires that we repent of the sinful life that we've been living and that we believe specifically that God raised Jesus from the dead. Why? Well, because that's the proof that he did reconcile us to God. So, seek his kingdom. Share the gospel with others. And all these things will be added to us. Why? Well, it says, because our Father has chosen gladly to give us the kingdom. That's what it says right here in verse 32. So, we're supposed to do that. And he goes on, verse 33, sell your possessions, give to charity. Why? Because that's how you're laying up treasures in heaven. You know, I had an uncle. Uh, his name was Alec. And I'll tell you, Uncle Alec loved money. And he loved money so much that his friends called him Greens. And my, my Uncle Alec got really, it's actually my mom's uncle, but Uncle Alec got really, really, really old. And the joke was that Greens heard that you couldn't take it with you. So Greens made up his mind that maybe he wasn't going to go. That didn't work out so well for my Uncle Alec. And that's very sad. But if we can't take it with us, maybe, and this verse is proof here, we can send it on ahead. How? Sell your possessions, give to charity. Make yourselves money belts which don't wear out. An unfailing treasure in heaven where no thief comes near, no moth will destroy. We're to be charitable and giving about everything laying up for ourselves treasures in heaven which are eternal and enduring. But this comes with a warning of sorts. It says where our treasure is, that's where our heart will be. You know that line where it says, you know, Jesus speaking said, you'll know them by their fruits? Your actions tell anybody who's paying attention where your heart really is. Because if you're laying up treasures in heaven, the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, understanding, all of that stuff, will start to be displayed in greater and greater measure as we go along. And if that's not happening, then maybe you're focusing your efforts and your treasure in the wrong place. I'm Jerry Brinkman. This is Berean Nation you're on. Keep studying the scriptures daily to see if these things are so.